Hello friends, I welcome you to my channel Exographics and Multimedia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a desk calendar using Corel. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back friends. The first thing you have to do in this tutorial is to make a new document by go to file. Then select new. So at this point here, this is where you set your desk calendar page. So the first thing to do is to name your design desk calendar. So the next to hit is the custom setting. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use A4 size for my desk calendar. Then select A4 at this point. So the next thing you have to do is to come to the color mode here. Make sure you select CNYK. Then at this point here, make sure your design is 300 pixels, 300 dp high. So once you are done with your setting, then click on OK. All right, friends. So the next thing we have to do is to convert this page from landscape, from portrait to landscape. All you have to do is to go to your menu bar, then select landscape. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to start my design. So the first thing you have to do is to go to your tools bar and look for your pen tools. So having select your pen tools, then you start your sketch. I'm going to start from this point here. Something like this. And uh, this, this, then at this point here, I'm going to close the path. Right. So the next thing you have to do now is to go to your Eclipse, select your Eclipse shape. Then having select your Eclipse shape, then you come to the artwork area and draw a perfect Eclipse. Good. So the next thing you have to do is to press P on your keyboard to centralize the Eclipse. All right. So the next thing you are, you are going to do in this tutorial is to make a duplicate of this Eclipse. All you have to do is to come to the edge of this uh, shape, then press Shift key and drag in. Having done that, place it with your right click. All right. So the next thing you have to do is to duplicate the shape again. Press Shift key and drag in. Then place it with your right click. Good. So at this point here, the next thing you have to do is to position the shape. So I'm going to select everything like this. Then having select everything done with your arrow key just move it a little bit into the shape all right so at this point now the next thing i'm going to do is to go back to my tools bar then select rectangle then come to the work area and draw a tiny rectangle Like this then at the middle of the rectangle click on it to make the rotation pin active then you rotate right so i'm going to duplicate this rotation ctrl z then control V just to duplicate the shape. Then I'm going to drag it here. And uh, at the menu bar here, you can, can rotate it also. Right. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is to pick my smart fill. At this point here, this is where I have my smart fill. Then have a select smart fill, then you go to the artwork area and fill with your smart fill tools. I'm going to fill this portion, this place, and likewise this place, and this place, then the next thing I'm going to do is to press that shift key and click on the second shape here. Then at the menu bar here, come to the menu bar and click on word. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring in my stock photo for the design. All right. so what I'm going to do is to click on this particular icon or press Ctrl I on your keyboard. Then from this point here, this is where you look for where you save your stock photo. So I have my stock photo on desktop. Okay, tutorial elements. So this is the picture I'm going to use for the design. Then click on import then you drag and drop your picture something like this so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to my menu bar from the object then look for power clip then place inside frame then something like this then come to this place to edit the power clip then you now drag and position your stock photo Then once you are satisfied with the position of the image, then just right click on your keyboard and select finish at this, this level. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to apply outline color, outline color to the uh, shape. So at the menu bar here, just type 40. That is the outline width and press enter on your keyboard. All right. So the next step to take now is to apply color to the design. So the first one I'm going to do here is this particular main, main shape here. So what I'm going to do here is to go to my menu bar, select interactive. Having select interactive, go to your menu bar and select font thing. So having select font thing, then go back to the design area and draw your font shape. So from the screen here, so I use sky blue. Okay. So I'm going to click on this place and use my eye color dropper to pick the color from this place. Sky blue, good. Then the top here also, I use sky blue, good. So once I'm done, then you click on close, then go back to the pick tools. So the next thing I'm going to do is to select the shape again, then add it, add the color palette here, right click on this icon to remove the outline color, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to the shape, uh, stock photo shape and apply the outline color. The outline color is white. So go to the color palette here, then right click on the white icon, You're going to have your color update. So the next step to take is to apply color to the shape uh, stock photo. So I use sky blue. Good. So I have to wet this place also. Shift key and click on the second image then select wet. To Z. Okay. Then this point here, I use white as the color. Then come to the color palette here and select white. All right. So at this point now, the next thing I'm going to do is to select the stock photo shape like this. 
and remove the outline color by right click this particular icon good so i'm left with this shape i'm going to delete this one away press delete good so at this point now the next thing i'm going to do is to input my text and the calendar into the shape style so what i'm going to do in this tutorial is to go back to the original the my previous design and copy all these text i'm going to use this text right click and click on copy and go back to this layer right click now uh, click on paste good so the next thing i'm going to do is right click again order and click on back of layer good so the next thing i'm going to do is to go back again click copy the rest of the image we heard the, the rest of the text copy go back here right click click on paste good lastly go back to the text I'm going to copy this one also control z and go back here and click on paste good so at this point now we have done with our desk calendar in corel draw i hope you like this tutorial if you enjoy my video don't forget to hit like button and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more interesting tutorial in corel draw photoshop and adobe illustrator thank you for watching my video from the beginning to the end see you soon bye